Yeah, but uh, ice cream machines at McDonald's. It's crazy. <laughs> What's controversial? There's a couple that has invented a better ice cream machine, but um, that company, well, I don't want to get into it. It's boring. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, there's drama. Oh, wow. So Not conspiracy. Yeah. With the, with the, is it the ice cream machine or the milkshake machine? I believe, I, I think it's the ice cream machine. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to mess around with that. Mm-mm. Listeria. Doesn't sound good. Mm-mm. But everybody wants, you think, um, as many people as you know, comment and complain about McDonald's milkshake machine or um, ice cream machine being down, that they really experience that, or they just see everybody else is saying something and then they want to comment and act like they're in oh, the no. know. I was the first person to complain about it. Yeah, you were, and uh, nationwide. Yeah, I was, mm-hmm. and uh, now it's like a thing, but it's true. I mean, it was true. It, they, it was always down at multiple locations, so mm-hmm. it's not you know a figment of my imagination. Have y'all had that um, spicy McCrunchy or McCrispy chicken sandwich at McDonald's? I have not. That 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 doesn't play around. I mean, it's spicy. Yeah. Is it spicy breading or is it spicy sauce? Sauce. See, that, I don't like the ones where the sauce is what's spicy. I like the when it's like baked into it. Rob, you can't handle spicy anything. I eat spicy chicken you, sandwiches you at came, every fast food place. You came chew big red gum. Big red gum's gross. <laughs> But I didn't think you like spicy stuff. No, I always get the spicy chicken at uh, Chick Fil A and Wendy's and hmm. any other place that has them where it's built. It's like not sauce based spicy. I just don't. Oh, like you like you like it, it cooked into. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, he's a chicken aficionado. <laughs> yeah. I'm a snob for uh-huh. the fast food chickens. Like but hot, like but I, I like a spicy sauce. I, that, that, I hate when they do it that way. Hmm. But yeah, that you should try that that spicy chicken one from McDonald's, Riggins. You'd like it. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's not playing. I mean, it's spicy. Is it really? Yeah. You would think McDonald's wouldn't be that spicy. Yeah. But it is. The the new KFC uh, spicy nuggets are pretty good. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a not a KFC person. Is it is it because of their politics or no? It's just because I don't like. It. Some, one, one or Fair more question. of those eleven herbs and spices doesn't agree with me. I don't know if they would tell people what all they are, then I'd be able to pinpoint which one it is that's making it to where I don't like it. But I do like you know I would like their chicken sandwiches and all better than the regular fried chicken. I don't think I've ever had KFC fried chicken. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me either. That's all. We had when we were at my grandparents' house growing up in Jonesboro, Louisiana. For a long time, the only thing they had was uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. And that's when it was still called Kentucky Fried Chicken in America, by God. You didn't have to hide the fact that it was fried. You yeah. know, they got to call it KFC. Mm hmm. KFU. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'd say. Um, so, yeah, it's in my, uh, my Aunt Tina worked at KFC growing up, Kentucky Fried Chicken, when she was in high school and all. So uh, that's where we would always get fried chicken from there. Mm. But then uh, then they put in a chickadilly, which, you know, I told you uh, earlier in the summer when I went to visit my brother and they had chickadilly, that, that, was, uh, that was the staple of my childhood fried yeah. chicken. But it was not kind to you. And I... Mm-mm-mm. I had no, never heard of Chickadilly until you brought that up the other day. Was it? No, it was. It gave Jody the diarrhea. Oh, I yeah. thought it was you that it made. Yeah, no, no, no. Gave her diarrhea. Gave Jody yeah. the diarrhea. Oof. Did she eat a lot of it? Mm-mm. No. That's even worse. When it's just, just something like about it. That, and... To me, there's just something about it that makes you sick. And uh, things that are too tomatoey. Like yeah. she, she can eat. You know, things with tomato sauce in it, but if it's too much tomato sauce, and I think tomato paste hmm. has her running for the hills. Does she have like a an, an allergy to tomatoes or something that she does that? I don't know. Hmm. Obviously, because uh, uh, some kind of a some kind of a condition. Yeah, my my uh, nephew when he was younger, he he loved tomatoes, but every time he ate them, his face would break out. Oh yeah, is that the is that the nephew that had the other deal going on? 
Uh, we red, red dye? Yeah, the red dye no, no, thing. No, no, no. That, was, that was one of my cousins, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Maybe that's why. Anything you... red is just sending people into <laughs> overdrive. Yeah, he ate a piece of strawberry cake one time and he <laughs> damn ended up hulking out and tearing up the house. Yeah. <laughs> that's nuts. <laughs> Who gave him a tomato? <laughs> why would you do this? <laughs> so even pizza and stuff like that, huh? Yeah. Wow. But Regan's. You um, only get diarrhea from lettuce. You can yeah. eat the other ingredients of the salad or other vegetables. It just it, it doesn't bother you. It's calmed down in the last few months. Really? I don't know. I went through like a year of every time I ate an iceberg, any kind of salad, really. It just give me crazy stomach pains. Do you eat them regularly? Is that is maybe you've gotten used oh, to yeah. it? Every day. Yeah, maybe. You, yeah, he worked through it. Yeah, your body just got used to it. Yeah, all. I think I just, I, but I, yeah, I never you, grew you up. You wore your body down. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, your body was just like, all right, well, he's going to continue. We got to build up an immunity because he's going to keep shoveling it in. Mm -hmm. Might as well give up and get mm -hmm. used to this shit. Yeah. He's not stopping. I love a good salad. Oh, there's very few things in life that are better. It's so good. Mm -hmm. yeah, I love it. So you just fight through it. My brother eats toast and he'll have diarrhea. Like he's. Jeez. A super sensitive stomach. Your, yeah, your middle brother Kevin, mm -hmm. he's always had that though, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, that's why he pooped in the yard. That's one of the reasons why I pooped in the yard. Yeah. <laughs> so you got and, uh, and toothpaste is also too spicy for him. <laughs> Mint toothpaste right. is too spicy. Ooh. Yeah. That made him throw up. He just couldn't take it. Oh. Just couldn't and, take it. And does he still use bubble gum flavor? I don't know. I should ask him. <laughs> that was so funny. Does he know that we talk about this stuff on the? Oh yeah. Okay. He's like, Whatever. It's hot. <laughs> hot. What? Uh, yeah. I've never heard anybody say their toothpaste was too spicy. Yeah, anything mm -hmm. minty just couldn't handle. Or cinnamon, I'm guessing. Cinnamon, yeah. Yeah. Cinnamon. Anything, yeah. Altoids might keep, end him. <laughs> <laughs> what would happen if he took a shot of fireball? I don't oh, know. Oh, gosh. It's a good question. I mean, he would die. Yeah, probably. Fireball is, is the roughest of all of them. Of all of oh, them, for what? Like. Cinnamon flavors. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, cinnamon. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> A little weird middle kid. I mean, I don't know. Fireball. You know, I can't can't take toothpaste or fireball or. Um, they got. They, I know a woman that if she she used to. I'd have to cook, you know, for a group of big group of people when we had all these friends, and um, she couldn't even take. Yeah, if you use a little bit of black pepper in something, she was just too, just too spicy. It's too black spicy. pepper. Yeah, it's wow. too spicy. <laughs> Meredith so, won't. you know, she wouldn't eat anything of mine. Yeah. Meredith won't eat anything that without putting a whole bunch of pepper on it first. Uh, really? Black, red, what kind of pepper? B black pepper. Just black pepper. Yeah. Salt, and, salt and pepper, right, on, on top of everything before she even tries it. Mm-hmm. I'm usually that way with salt. I'll put salt on there. Mm -hmm. Like, even if it's a new restaurant, you don't want to try it first, make sure they, they didn't properly salt it and pepper it? No. I can tell. I need It needs pepper. And I never pepper. add pepper after the fact. I'll cook with it, yeah. or I'll put it on really? eggs, but I never just sprinkle black pepper on my already cooked food. I'm really? far more mm -hmm. likely to put pepper on than salt. Oh, yeah. But I never use salt or anything, but the other day we were somewhere, and I added a little salt, and we're just like, damn, that got good all of a sudden. Salt is just a beautiful thing. If you take... Um, microwave popcorn and then once it's out of the microwave spray it with a butter spray and then sprinkle it with tony sachery's creole mm -hmm. seasoning mm -mm. i don't i've never done the butter spray thing i've just sprinkled tony sachery yeah on. it oh. helps stick to the popcorn mm. Damn, you rest right. good at night damn right mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. have y'all seen with the diarrhea <laughs> <laughs> it's the ace and tj show with a little extra more of the extra funny podcast in three minutes Hey, it's Ace. If you're wondering why I'm dressed like this, I'm getting ready for the Ace and TJ Jet Fitness 24-7 golf tournament. So I'm working on it on here on the turf field at Jet Fitness 24-7. It's all to benefit Peyton's promise. Get signed up at acetj.com slash golf. Papa John's new garlic epic stuffed crust pizza is the pizza inspired by our biggest fans with that garlic flavor you all love. Get it on it with it. Get the new garlic epic stuffed crust pizza for $13.99 only at Papa John's. Go 
order Calitrin to help you lose weight. It's scientifically proven to do so. The prices are great right now, and they even have payment plans. So you need to check on all of that at acetj.com slash weight loss. Order it today. It's Calitrin. It doesn't matter what you want to do. You can have a great time doing it this summer in Gaston County, North Carolina. Hiking, biking, paddling, great places to eat, drink, shop. Go to acetj.com slash Gaston to see all the great stuff happening this summer in Gaston County, North Carolina. If you have nagging pain, imagine being rid of that nagging pain with no medication, no surgery, and no downtime. It could happen thanks to Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic, Neogenics. Call 704-727-6551 or go to acetj.com slash Neogenics. More than just a little funny. This is extra funny. This is the Ace and TJ Show's Extra Funny Podcast. Mm. Um, I forgot to tell y'all that my wife, uh, you know, she used to just say, I'd say, you know, what do you what do you think that I'm you know I would say you don't think I'm good at anything you know because she always you know I just we mess with each other and uh, I would tell y'all that the only thing she ever really brags on me for is public speaking and she'd say that I'm a really good public speaker but now there's something else and I'm, I may have told y'all this but uh, I am really really good at finding small things you know like um, if, if I know the general area it's in, like if uh, she loses the back of an earring in the carpet or something, yep. then I'm, I'm really good at finding those things. Okay. Like, That's a good skill. Mm. Is, it, is it based on having, like, you have really good vision with those glasses? Or, 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 what, or how? how mm, <laughs> no. With those glasses? Yeah, no, I can't nerd. see them. <laughs> I, I, uh, no, because it's... Uh, the glasses are for magnifying up close. Oh, okay. And this is, uh, they're just regular reading glasses. So this is um, a lot of times where I have to stand away from it and then scan the scan the, the area yeah. for the little small thing. Um, and I'm good at taking knots out of things. Like, so, like a little uh, dainty necklace that gets knots in it and stuff. Yeah. My daughter used to always bring those to me to get that the is, knots out. That is a real skill i do not i'm not good at that uh, very i find that to be very frustrating i commend anyone who can do that those necklaces that get all knotted up mm-hmm. and, get, and you really can't even tell which part to start pulling on to get it started oh very frustrating yeah, and i usually don't have patience for that type of thing yeah that are tinting windows <laughs> <laughs> have you ever tinted a window on your own uh uh, back when that first became a thing in the mm-hmm. 80s, I've tried to assist someone doing it. And uh, it was before it became a business. You yeah. know, you just bought the stuff yeah, and you did I it yourself. That. You remember that before there were people who actually did it for a living? Oh, yeah. My dad did it with every mm-hmm. new car. We yeah. Did. And, um, you know, you take your driver's license or a credit card and try to smooth the bubbles out of it. And I'll, oh, my God. My dad would also try to pinstripe his own cars. Was he good at it? Uh, he was okay. Was he good at the at the window tint? Yeah, the window tint. We never had bubbles in ours. Yeah, but when you pinstripe a car, you can't just be okay. Yeah, you got to yeah. be precise. Because I mean, that's you. You're, a car could be you know a hundred yards away, and you could see where that pinstripe would would <laughs> would dip a little bit or something. Mm-hmm. Like, Damn, that messed the whole thing up. Yeah, I bought a truck one time, and um, it didn't have like I wanted this stripe added to it that I had seen in the in the brochure you know for the for that kind of truck Mm -hmm. and uh it came with a pinstripe that was a different color than what i wanted so they said no problem just bring it up the the striping guy will be up here wednesday you leave it and then we'll do it for you no problem so they took the um the pinstripe off of it with the you know the decal part and um i went back to pick it up and i said oh that looks really good i i said uh uh when did that come in? Did y'all do y'all keep those pinstripes here? And he just peered. and I went and looked at my truck. It was that that Ford F one fifty black one I had. Yep. It came with a a gold stripe down the side of for some reason. I wanted a, a a silver one, and it was just a tiny. You could see where it was paint instead of 
Uh, the decal. He just painted it on there. Yeah, I've seen on TikTok a couple people doing those, and it's it's incredible. I do I do not understand how they do that. That's really really difficult to do. Mm-hmm. Mm. But I mean, you know, they I probably can't do some shit I can do. <laughs> oh, no doubt. You know? Everybody has their own you know skill set. Mm-hmm. Don't get cocky. <laughs> <laughs> don't start thinking don't, you're something. Don't you're not better than get me. Mm-hmm. Away. Don't you dare think that. But, but um, my little friend Jenny, uh, first thing when she gets a new vehicle, it goes to the tent place. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. and that shit is dark. It, yeah, it looks like she's you know, Cheech and Chong in there. <laughs> she could be doing. <laughs> she, she could be cooking up meth or doing anything else. She's not. But those windows are so dark. So Jenny from like, the block. Why do you want them? Why do you want them so dark? So I'm guessing they're not like regulation tent. Then. Yeah, they are. You know, and I'm sure there's, a, you know, at least one state that it's legal. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere that it's legal. Yeah, I mean, you got 50 to choose from, so at least, you know, the odds are that at least one of them. You know, my dad would, would work. My dad would do it so dark that he would have to go find someone to uh, pass it for, for inspection. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, hers, yeah. Hers gets inspected on the, on the. Um, up and up so i guess it's all right but okay. and people used to put that eyebrow across the the front yeah the windshield and then it was just like a little bitty spit look you squinting <laughs> like a, a submarine a periscope that you're having to look at the road i never thought that looked good unless oh. it had something cool written on it like Hell yeah. you know like nay nay slayer or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's the ace and tj show with a little something extra this is the extra funny podcast